For our literacy project, has just recently collaborated with a local group called Los Caminos del Rio by inviting this organization's AmeriCorps visas to work at the center. According to loscaminos.org, Los Caminos del Rio offers kayak trips virtually every weekend at Anzandula's Park. Participants will explore sections of the Rio Grande and can experience a safe and exciting introduction to kayaking along the Rio Grande River savoring historical and environmental details with the assistance of friendly and trained adventure guides. My day with Los Dominos del Rio personally introduced me to the historical details of immigrant women crossing into the United States. On Saturday, June 26, 2010, I journeyed with my co-workers Chewy and Reina, Reina who speaks very little English, to the Anzandulas Park, which extends into the Rio Grande River. As we came closer to the river near the edge of the park, the family-friendly atmosphere abruptly ended. The armed border patrol station, barbed wire, and yellow government access gates signify that not everyone is welcome, especially not illegal immigrants crossing the Rio Grande into the United States. While we waited for our turn to kayak down the Rio Grande, Chewy, Reina, and I decided to find our own adventure and walk along the grassy riverbank in hopes of getting close to the dam. Reina and I were afraid of the snakes that Frank, our guide, warned of. We tiptoed along the rocks in the high grass holding hands. Soon we would grasp hands in recognition of a more sinister fear, something that rocked us to our cores. Just a few steps in front of us, I noticed a pile of black stuff. Snake skin! I screamed. Reina and I jumped back, squealing like little girls. Chewy, the brave man, stepped forward and picked up the snake skin. Reina yelled at him not to as he flung the skin towards us. All at once, we realized that this snake skin was not what it appeared. The snake skin was actually a torn pair of black women's panties. Reina and I weren't scared anymore. We were safe. No snake skin to signify the impending approach of danger. No snakeskin. Chewy held the underwear up and said, ooh, someone couldn't wait to get things going with a laugh. It was as if some light bulb went off in Raina's face because it lit up and then it darkened. The same light bulb went off in my head too. We looked at one another and said, no, great. And then I remembered where I really was. The Rio Grande River isn't just some adventure zone. It's a place where the sweat and tears of an oppressed people rage between two worlds. I was on the banks of the Rio Grande River where thousands of poor immigrants from Mexico and other Latin American countries crossed the United States in a month. Many of these travelers are poor defenseless women depending on coyotes to make their way across the river into the United States. Those torn black underwear belong to a woman, someone's daughter, mother, sister, cousin, a child of God. I didn't know if her left behind undergarment signified that she had been abused. I didn't know if she was an immigrant coming to the United States to find work to feed her children. I still don't know if she was a pretty young girl manipulated by the Mexican drug cartels to carry drugs inside her body and across the, the border. I didn't know anything about her except for what she left behind. I thought of all this as Reina whispered the word rape in an eerie echo. She knew just as I did what those underwear meant. We had a sister moment that defied our language barriers. My grasp on her hand got a little tighter as we walked further up the bank. Chewie didn't make any more comments as he walked ahead of us. A group of adventurers joined us in our nature walk and we all jumped in the river and free floated with the current until we reached the shore again. A few people remarked that they felt they were doing what their ancestors did years ago. They laughed as they said these things. It wasn't funny to me in light of finding the black panties. After stumbling upon the black panties, the Rio Grande River didn't look the same. The sand on the bank near the dam looked scattered as if a struggle had just taken place. The water looked cloudy, murky, and dangerous. I got in it anyway. A kayak. All for adventure, right? No. I was in sacred water and should have acted accordingly. I will, though, when I reach its shores again. Watching the news coverage of the new immigration law in Arizona hit home after my day-long adventure. I had been on the border. I had seen and felt some things. It was real there. There are snakes in the grass in the Arizona State Senate. There are snakes in the grass in the Texas State Senate. 
snakes and torn black lace pants. 